Hi everybody, this is Jim from Markham Public Library. How are you doing this morning? Good, so great to see you all. Thank you so much again for joining me for our story time today. All right, so is everyone having a good morning? Yeah? Awesome, that's great to know. All right, so like I said, we're always gonna have a couple of books, two today, some songs, we have lots of fun, and we have a good time. All right, so let's start with our stretching. Here we go. Straight up like a rocket ship. You're flying straight up. Whoa, and try to touch the ceiling. Whoa, and then we're going to move to this side. What? This side, yes. And then we're going to go to this side. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, nice and loosen up. And then my favorite part, stick your arms out. Give yourself a big hug. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> too much there, right? All right. Let's do head and shoulders. Here we go. Where we start with that? Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth and nose. Good. Excellent. Now I'm going to do it again. But this time, when I do the eyes, ears, mouth, and nose, I'm going to miss one. And I want you to figure out, or yeah, try to figure out which one did I miss. It, it'll be pretty easy, but let's see if you'll get it right away, okay? So let's try again. Ready? Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, mouth, and nose. Which one did I miss? Oh, huh? okay, did you catch that? Whoa, you got, some of you are really fast. <laughs> yeah, my ears, I went, I went eyes, mouth and nose. Kind of sounded kind of funny. We're not having the word ears in between, eh? Yeah, I'm sure you caught that. All right, way to go. Okay, so let's start with our first book. <laughs> oh, here. So this is a rhyming book with our good friends, the Rhyming Dust Bunnies, yeah, by Jan Thomas, yeah, and the publisher is uh, Simon & Schuster, so thank you very much. So this one's called Here Comes the Big Mean Dust Bunny. Hmm, let's see what this one is about. Hello, oops, hello, we are Ed, Ned, Ted, and Bob. We rhyme all the time. I'm the big mean dust bunny. <laughs> Interesting name. Wanna play a rhyming game? No. <laughs> um, come on. What rhymes with fit? Lit. I know, I know. Sit. <laughs> oh, look, he squashed them all. Ah! <laughs> Sitting is fun. <laughs> fun? He weighs a ton. Ooh. My turn, my turn. What rhymes with face? <laughs> Race? Case? Vase, cat, Ooh. chase. I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! I'm gonna get ya! Chasing is fun. <laughs> fun. Run! Ah! My turn again. My turn again. What rhymes with? with cat right <laughs> Splat. look at him like a pancake <laughs> look at that he's flat like a mat drat that cat wow <laughs> he may be a thug but what rhymes with uh, tug 
Come on, pull. Uh, almost there. Pop. Hey. I know. I know. I know. What's that word? Hug. Yeah. So what do you want to do now? Let's chase the cat. <laughs> Did you get all those rhyming words? Yeah? I know rhyming is fun, right? Yeah, I love it too. All right, that was great. And I'll see that mean old dust bunny. We figure it out. It's better to have friends than just be mean. All right. Okay. So let's do our good bingo, right? And do you remember how I used to play, how I play this? So there's the word bingo. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do a, I'm gonna write a little bit better. Give me a moment here. Thank you very much. There it is. Bingo. And I'm going to just change it up a bit today. And I'm going to put this letter in there. What letter is that? Yeah, P. What, is, what does P sound like? P -p -p Pingo. Right. So we're going to sing P-I-N-G-O. And then how I play is after we finish singing, I get rid of a letter, right? And I put a picture of something else in there, just something. And then after that, instead of, um, instead of the, the letter, I want you to clap. Right, okay, so actually I'm gonna move back a bit so you can kind of see it. All right. Okay, here we go. Oops. So here we go. There was a farmer, right, a dog, and Pingo. What's his name? Okay, you want to try it? <laughs> Here we go. There was a farmer who had a dog, and Pingo was his name. Oh, P I N G O, P I N G O, P I N G O, and Pingo was his name. Oh, perfect. All right, let's do the first one. Do, 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 do. Let's see if you know what this is. What is that? It might not be a great drawing, but you ever look outside at night and look at the moon? And sometimes when it's not a full moon, it sometimes looks like this. Do you know what this is called? Very good. Yes, a crescent moon. Right. So this is a crescent moon. I know it kind of looks like a C too, right? But it's a crescent moon. All right, so how many claps? One, perfect. All right, so ready? One clap and I and G O. So here we go. There was a farmer who had a dog and Pingo was his name. Oh, I N G O. I N G O. I N G O and Pingo was his name. Oh, excellent. All right, let me draw another thing here. What is this? Yeah, that's a star. Very good. Cool. So we kind of see the kind of a theme here. The moon out in the night sky and the star out in the night sky. Out in space. Right. How many claps? Two. Yeah, an NGO. Okay, ready? Ah, there was a farmer who had a dog, and Pingo was his name. Oh, N G O, N G O, N G O, and Pingo was his name. Oh, very good. All right, let's see this one here. Hmm, kind of tell. Can you see what that is? Yeah, I try. It's a planet in the solar system. Yeah, can you see it has rings around it? Do you know what, what planet has ring? Wow, okay, all right, all right. Yes, perfect, Saturn, right. So now we have moon, crescent moon, a star, and Saturn. Three claps, all right, and then G-O. Okay, here we go. <gasps> there was a farmer who had a dog and Pingo was his name. Oh, G-O, 
G O G O N Pingo was his name. Oh, awesome! All right, almost oh, done here. Let's see. How do you get into space? With that. Right. A rocket ship. All right. How many claps? Four. Four claps and oh. Okay, ready? <gasps> there was a farmer who had a dog and Pingo was his name. Oh. 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 And Pingo was his name. Oh. All right. And the last thing that's in space in the solar system is this lovely shiny object. Whoops. What is that? <laughs> what is that? That's right. You got it. The happy sun. Yay. I know it's summertime. It's nice and hot outside. I know. All right. How many claps? Hmm? Five. All right. Five claps. All clapping. All right. Here we go. There was a farmer who had a dog and Pingo was his name. Oh. And Pingo was his name. Oh. Perfecto. Way to go. Hey. I know. All right. Let's see. What is our next? Oh, yes. Now I remember. Okay. Does anyone know out there the difference between their right hand and their left hand? Yeah, you do, so you know what left and right is? Well, how would I show you? And maybe I'll show you a little trick on how to deter, you know, a little reminder. Now, because I'm on the camera here, my <laughs> hands are reversed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna, we're gonna sing this song called right hand, left hand. Okay, we'll sing it twice, but I'm gonna do it backwards. So that way we all, I kind of look the same to you. So then you know this is my right hand and my other one is my left hand. Okay, you'll see. And what I also do just to make it a little easier, I'm gonna switch my hat to make it backwards as well. So it looks like, you know, a little normal. Okay, how's that? Does that help? I don't know. <laughs> so here we go, okay? So I'm gonna try this, here we go. Can you see me okay? Okay, so this is your right hand, this is your left hand, and the word left, what letter does it start with? Left hand, left. Yeah, so you put, what does this look like? What letter does it look like? An L, right, I mean, correct. <laughs> so, if you want to know, or kind of have a reminder what your left hand is, just kind of put them up, both hands up like this, and then the one that has an L, guess what? That's your left hand. Yeah! Okay, so this is the song, and yeah, we'll sing it a couple, we'll sing it once, and then you can try to sing it after me, okay? So it's really short too, so here we go. Okay, we're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully you can hear me, okay? So it goes like this. This is my right hand, I raise it high. This is my left hand, I touch the sky. Right hand, left hand, roll it around. Left hand, right hand, let's make a sound. Hey, what do you think? You wanna try that with me? Okay, so let's put our hands up. All right, so remember, left, L, right, okay. This is my right hand, I raise it high. This is my left hand, I touch the sky. Right hand, left hand, roll it around. Left hand, right hand, let's make a sound. Perfect. Did you have fun doing that? Was it kind of funny with me with my hat backwards? Maybe not. <laughs> but I'm trying, right? Okay, one last book and then we're done for today. Okay, all right. So let me ask you a question. Do you know the difference between something that's far 
and something that's near. Okay? So far, far would be something like, like the sun, the stars, that's far away. And what would be near is maybe, uh, like if you put your hand right here, it's like your hand is near, it's close to you, right? So this book is called Near and Far by Sylvia Baranto. And we want to thank Candlewick Press for letting us read it. And I'll read it and then you'll see what I mean. It shows, you'll, you'll see what I mean by near and far. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so let's go to the first one. So this is near. This thing. What does it look like? What do you think this is? Mountains? Oh, very good. Could be, yeah, it could be ears. I don't know. Let's see. So now what we're going to do, we're going to step back and go farther, like farther back. Okay. So not so near. Whoa. Oh, what is that now? Grass? Waves on a green ocean? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? What's your guess? What do you think this is? Ready? We're going to go all the way back now. And it's a, yeah, it's an alligator. Right. So you see how this book works? All right, good. So let's try another, uh, maybe animal that's near. Okay. This is really near. What is that? Mm -hmm. What is that? Any guesses? An octopus? Maybe. What? A cat? Yeah, it could be a cat. I, I don't know. So let's move back farther. Ready? Oh, we got a little, we got an eye. Hmm. Oh, what does that look like now? Oh, I heard whale. Yeah, an elephant. Yeah, it kind of looks like an elephant. You ready? Who thinks it's an elephant? Who thinks it's a whale? Nope. It's a little birdie. See, he's super small. <laughs> I know. See that amazing? Like, okay, you focus there. There you go. The little birdie. I know. All right, let's do a couple more, okay? What is that? Green hat? Hmm? What do you think? Let's go farther back. Oh! Bunny rabbit? Green bunny rabbit? <laughs> What do you think? Any guesses? Oh, maybe. Okay, here we go. It's a snake. Yeah, move back. It's a snake. All right, with this kind of up and down wiggly body, right? All right, we'll do a few more. What's this one? What is that? Like two little things there. Let's move back a bit. Some kind of creature, a pig. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Let's move all the way back. And who thinks what? Oh, someone thinks it's a. Do you know this book? Someone thinks it's a rabbit. Yeah, you got it. It's a rabbit. Someone knows this book, right? It's a rabbit. Very good. All right, a few more. This one might be a little easy. Great. Great little circle. Huh? I'm gonna move back. Oh, this might give it away. This might make it easy. Huh? What do you think? Yeah, I know, you got it. That one's kind of easy, right? It's a little, little mousy. Mm-hmm. All right, perfect. You guys are doing great. All right, oh, last one. What are these little spiky things? Mm hmm? What animal has little spikes? Ooh. It's porcupine, someone says. There's a little eye. Does it look like a porcupine? I don't know. Pretty close. Who thinks it's a porcupine? Who thinks it's a school bus? No? Nobody? <laughs> Ready? It's a little hedgehog. I know. It looks like a porcupine, but it's a little hedgehog. Ah, isn't he cute? <laughs> That's it. So, there you go. Now you know what something is far, I mean far, <laughs> and something that's near. 
<laughs> yeah, knowing about distancing and perception, that's a great thing. You know, so we won't bump into things, right? <laughs> okay, all right. All right, so I'm done for the day. So I'm going to sing my goodbye song. All right, we'll sing it twice. First time, you can listen, or you can sing with me. It's really short. And the second time, we'll sing it together, and then that's it. We're done for the day. Okay, so here we go. <gasps> we wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Yeah, so let's try it again, okay? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Bye, everybody. And have a great day. All right, take care.